Hello my lovelies. I know I shine bright like a light. What can I say? <laughs> right then. I have a new light. I do. It's an outdoor light for my front porch. It is. It is a robust golf slim outdoor light with dust till dawn adjustable sensor. How cool is that? Now we've got it from Screwfix and it was $69.99. Yes, I know, a little bit pricey. But when you see the size of this thing, it's worth it. It's huge, humongous. Yes. Just look at this bad boy. It's so big. Like, that is the diameter of the light there. That's so big. Would you not say that is a really big light? Yes. Now, what the Robos Glim, Glim? Golf Slim Light has, it's the bag that's crackling, is it does work on main, but it has a three hour battery backup pack as well. So say all the lights went off on the street, somebody's there lurking around in the dark, my light would still pop up if they look near my front door. Yes. Now, if my neighbours then think, oh, they've got a generator, let's see if we can go and have some, and they keep coming and coming and coming and coming, it won't last that long because it's only a three hour battery. But you have that backup in case the power goes out, which is really, really good. Now, Miss Producer is going to fit it, but I'm going to do another video with it in twilight. Yes, testing it out. So you'll see me running around the driveway to make the light pop on. So I'm going to show you the inside. It's very simple to undo. You literally just twist it and then it pops off like so. So that is your big light sh lampshade, <laughs> lampshade, we'll call it a lampshade. So these are the inner workings of it. Now this is your big three hour battery here, this one here, that will click into there when it's all wired up. The mains, I have, I have my trusty screwdriver here. So we're going to undo this just so I can show you the mains inside. She says, du, du, du. there we go, I did it. So that pops up, see how easily that popped up? So this is your light here, this ring here, it's the ring of light, yes. So to fit it, you have four holes there that you drill through to fit it up onto your wall. Then you knock out that there and the wire goes through that hole, comes through here, threads down that little plastic bit there can you see i'm holding it up yeah you lift that up it goes through the grip there it's got the teeth on the top and the bottom to hold the wire still and then on the instructions because i have been naughty i've read the instructions i have on the instructions it says that blue goes into m was that right <laughs> <laughs> and then brown goes into PL and then the live one goes into lout if required and then you have to connect the SL and PL up it says but Mr. Producer knows more about that than I do I just know that there's three wires and there's three wires got to go in there so yeah and then you basically when all the three wires are in put that down you screw it back down hold the wires in you fit it flush up and that's it installed Pardon? it can either go on the wall or up top it doesn't matter we're gonna put it on the roof of our porch because that's easiest for us but you can put it on a side wall so it illuminates it that way it's very flexible on where you put it obviously it wouldn't be advised for it on the floor kind of thing now, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is the adjustable box. Yes. Now, what this one does is it does your detection area, your hold time, and your daylight sensor, which is amazing. Because that means that if you disable the daylight sensor, it won't turn on and off in the day. It'll just stay off and only work at night time, which is what you want. You don't really want the light to happen in the day, do you? Because you don't need it because you have the sunshine. Yes. Mind you, if it's a dark, cloudy day. But you never know. So the whole time here, 
you use number four, five and six, you could do either five seconds, 30 seconds, 90 seconds, three minutes or 20 minutes. Now they do recommend three minutes as one. So for that one, we would need number six pushing up and the just little buttons here that you push up or push down to put them on. Now the detection area is already turned on. They were already turned on. Now the green light will pop on when it's all wired in and all working. So that is your little box there. Now on the instructions, it does have bigger writing if you need the bigger writing as to what does what. Here you have your three settings for your looks, as it's called, which is your light. So you can either have 3000K, 4000K or blinding light of 6500K. And again, when it's all wired in, that light there should pop on there as well. Now, like I said, that is your light rim to make the big bulb work. We're trying to figure out where the sensor is. <laughs> but if we pop that in there, that gets the battery to work in, like I said. But yeah, I think it's a really cool light. It looks simple. Let's see how simple it is when we're fitting it. But it looks simple so far. If I can grasp it, most people can grasp it. Yes, I'm hoping. The instructions are not too bad. They're not too bad. If you know all about the wiring anyway, you'd find it simple with it. The on and offs are quite simple to do. They do say to do a check after 24 hours and then to check it yearly. And they do give you a grid here where you can write on the date and time and things and do all of the checks of it. So you can do that yearly if you want to. They do ask you to do that. With it, you do get a three year warranty as well when purchasing it from Screwfix. There is a couple of them on Screwfix by Robust, but one of them doesn't have the adjustable dawn tool dust setting. This is why we went for the bigger one, because it did have that setting. We did our research, we went on the Robust website and we checked it all out and made sure that it was right. Um, it can be used indoor as well. So you can put it in a corridor, you know, like if you work in a school or something and you need, oh, a light's gone out and you need one of these, you can just pop one of these up and it works the exact same way indoors as well as outdoors. You can have it on throughout the day, like it says, so it can be permanently on because you just push all those buttons up and it's on. But yeah, it's really good, I think. And it's got a microwave sensor. I don't know what that is, but it's got a microwave sensor. We can say. Our light has got a microwave sensor. Pardon? You can see through plastic. See it through plastic, yeah. That's what it does. Okay. That's what it does. Eh? You learn something new every day. So we're going to pop this back on. Hoping I'm putting this on the right way around. Hoping. Probably not. I did. Yay, I did it. So there's the, yeah, but we don't need it completely fastened up because you're gonna be unfascinated to fit it, aren't you? So yes, keep an eye out for the next video of me running around the drive to test out when it pops on and things. That should be interesting. Thank you so much for joining me here on YouTube. Don't forget to like it, subscribe. Find me on my Twitter at Adelsex2UK. Instagram is Adelsex2UK2, three, four, five, six. You know the deal with Instagram. I'm on my TikTok, Adele's TV, Adele's X UK, and official Adele's X UK. And then, of course, all my only fans, the freebie, the $10, and the naughty one. If you are here on YouTube and watching this, don't forget to come back and re-like and re-subscribe, because she is removing my subscribers, removing the likes, changing the comments, hiding the comments, limiting the comments, changing the titles, changing the thumbnails, changing the links below. Hey, the What's Up Next videos don't include mine anymore. She has taken that feature off of my channels. I've now got to wait for somebody else to notice that she's taken that feature off to put it back on. Yes, she's deleting channels and she's shadow banning computers to not make viable new channels to upload the content from the deleted channels. It's, it's all fun and games. It is. But we've got so much to show you this year. So keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing. Find me on my social media. I love you all. And I'll see you all soon. Ooh.